My name is Ed Hooligan. I represent hip hop. Hip hop's always been a part of me since I was in school, since I was, you know, in early middle school. Rapping, recording, performing since a very young age. I'm a high school English teacher. Not exactly what you expect out of a hip hop artist, but one day I could be standing in front of a bunch of students, teaching them a lesson, breaking down some grammatical structuring, and the next thing you know, I'm in the studio doing my own grammatical structuring. I'm just, I'm a word guy. I like words, I'm a linguist. I like the way that words bend, and so standing in front of students teaching, to me, is just as important as standing in that booth recording for you guys to hear me out there, right? So you can call me Ed Hooligan, you can call me Mr. Ahmed, call me whatever you want to call me, but don't call me broke. <laughs> My music is what I do, my music is who I am, and it's a reflection of my everyday. It's a reflection of the way that I enjoy putting words together. Life is my biggest influence musically, man. I started my musical career in Chicago back when I was in my early teens. I'm influenced by all sorts of music. I'm influenced by all sorts of hip hop, particularly, but my influences come from everywhere, man. I'm into hardcore, I'm into something loud. My music is reflected as something loud, but don't get it twisted because I also have a side in which I like to listen to softer, more chilled out music of all genres. I like the sound of words, and so that's what Ed Hooligan is, the word guy. <laughs> scene is ever growing, dude. My biggest influence outside of music is my family. Uh, I'm on the verge of marriage when you have your family behind you. When my parents, who are very, very, um, very, very cultural Palestinians and devout Muslims, but at the same time they're supportive because they see there's a craft to this. I'm not out here rapping about bull crap. Uh, and giving, you know, a, a, a bad image to hip hop for the kids because one of the first things I said when I first started spitting was that I had a nephew, right? And my nephew was very young and I said that I don't want to curse in my music because I don't want my nephew growing up listening to his uncle and getting influenced to use bad words. You can get my music at soundcloud.com slash edhooligan. You see, I'm making it easy for you guys. You don't have to try too much. Just remember Ed Hooligan and you'll be all right. So soundcloud.com slash Ed Hooligan. You can listen to all my tracks. You can hit me up on facebook.com slash Ed Hooligan. Hit that beautiful little like button that you see there. It's not hard. It doesn't cost you anything. I'm keeping it something that anybody can listen to. I'm keeping it well structured so that all my linguists out there can peep it and hear that structure and be like, yo, this cat ill. I'm also keeping it very melodic for all the cats that want to hear that, you know, catchy stuff. They can listen to it and be like, yo, fam got flow. So at the end of the day, I'm doing what I do. I'm influenced by everything around me. And that's that's that, man. You can get a large hard ball large than the artery. Secret society, please don't spy on me. Cause if I catch you sneaking, then I'm squeezing from my iron knee. I'm like the Hulk meets the iron sheet. Finally, a real dude. Bang my ill tunes out and ride with me.